Over the centuries, people have always chosen more attractive and comfortable places to live, but over time, for various reasons, these places become unsuitable for living and people leave them, leaving empty ghost towns with a frozen history and time on the world map. Today we will look at such mysterious abandoned places. Hashima is a Pacific island belonging to Japan. There is a city on the island, which from a height resembles a large warship. At the beginning of the 19th century it was a stone reef with little vegetation. After coal deposits were discovered on it, and mines began to be built, it began to be artificially strengthened and increased in size. In 1810, workers and their families gradually began to settle on the island. The construction of houses was approached very responsibly, they were built much stronger than on the mainland so that they could withstand natural surprises. By the 30s of the 20th century, the island became a serious industrial center, in addition to coal mines, there were also military factories, many shops, a school and a hospital, in general, everything necessary for people's lives. In the middle of the 20th century, the island was one of the most densely populated places on earth, with more than 5,000 people living there, in an area of just over a square kilometer. But the coal reserves in the bowels had to end sometime, and it happened, in 1974 the coal mines were completely closed, and in the near future all the inhabitants left the city. For a long time, the island was closed and its visit was strictly prohibited, so the Japanese authorities secured it from marauders and hunters of ancient artifacts. In 2008, it was proposed to include Hashima in the UNESCO World Heritage List, and in 2015 this event took place. Currently, visiting the city is allowed, but tourists have limited access to various facilities. Currently, visiting the city is allowed, but tourists have limited access to various facilities. At the moment, the abandoned Hashima Island in Japan is a popular tourist destination. There are special boat tours that will allow you to explore the entire territory. Entrance is possible only to a small area, since all buildings are in disrepair. Despite the concrete walls, nature takes its toll. Typhoons and other elements are gradually destroying the mystical place. The next abandoned place, the former Azerbaijani city of Agdam, before the Karabakh War of 1991-1994 was a small densely populated city, in 1989 the population of which was more than 30,000 people. The city had various operating industries, wine and cognac factories, the whole union knew Agdam thanks to the well-known brand of port wine, which was produced here. Various educational institutions and a tool factory were located in the city, in the vicinity there were archaeological sites related to antiquity and the Middle Ages, and a museum was located in the city itself. During the war, the city was completely destroyed. Currently, rare partially surviving buildings are being dismantled by residents of nearby settlements of Nagorno-Karabakh for building materials and scrap metal. The city of Kalmanskot is located in the Namib Desert. The history of this small town is very unusual and looks like a fairy tale. At this place in 1908, an employee of the railway discovered diamonds right on the surface of the sand, immediately there was an assumption that diamonds were carried by a river flowing into the ocean, and after the surf were thrown ashore and, together with masses of sand, were carried by the wind through the desert. 
Soon a small developed town arose on this site, with beautiful houses, a school, a hospital, and a stadium, supporting itself from the sale of diamonds. The inhabitants counted on long-term prosperity in the Diamond City. After all, there were so many diamonds in this deserted corner that they could be raked with a brush into a scoop. But soon the fairy tale ended, and the flow of diamonds dried up. It soon turned out that living in this area is very difficult, constant sandstorms and lack of water forced people to leave this wonderful town, which still stands today half covered with sand. Povelia is one of the most famous islands of the Venetian Lagoon, in northern Italy, a terrible place, on this small island there are the remains of 160,000 people. This island was twice the last refuge for plague patients, the outbreak of which covered Europe in the 16th century, people were brought to this island in order to isolate from the healthy. There were often cases when the whole family was isolated even if one got infected, and soon this island turned into a hell on earth, there were so many sick and dying people that the bodies were simply burned, and since then the soil on this island has been composed of human ashes. In 1922, a psychiatric hospital was opened on a creepy island. It was then that a real nightmare began here, patients complained of wild headaches, and at night they saw the ghosts of dead people, the patients heard wild screams and screams. And in Venice there were rumors that the head physician of this hospital was not healthy himself and was experimenting on the mentally ill, he was testing forbidden drugs and sophisticated medical techniques on them, and under the bell tower of the hospital he was performing a lobotomy using improvised means, chisels, hammers, and drills, over time this the doctor also began to see ghosts, and threw himself off the tower of this hospital. In 1968, Povelia was finally abandoned, now no one lives here. The hospital bell tower serves only as a guide, and even fishermen try to stay away from the cursed island, they are afraid to inadvertently catch human bones instead of fish. Sanji, on the northern coast of the island of Taiwan, stands the ghost town of Sanji. Back in the early 80s of the last century, a group of companies under the patronage of the state began the construction of a modern city. It was built as the greatest and unique resort in the world. The city project was created back in the 70s and was distinguished by its unique and unusual style. A huge amount of money was allocated for the construction, and the architecture itself was amazing futuristic houses in the form of flying saucers made of glass and plastic, at that time caused bewilderment among people, but there was a calculation for the extraordinary requests of the rich, however, at the construction stage, potential interested buyers were not observed. Throughout the construction, the city was haunted by absurd accidents and deaths of workers. The local population of Taiwan is very superstitious, and many believed that failures and ridiculous deaths are associated with the other world and evil spirits. Soon, the money allocated for the construction ran out, and investors abandoned the project without completing it. After a while, the local authorities decided to demolish the city, but the people of Taiwan prevented this for a long time, believing that evil spirits live in the city and, having destroyed the city, they will release them. Ekarmara is a former mining village in Abkhazia, in which about 5,000 people once lived and had everything necessary for a comfortable life for people, a school, a cinema, shops and restaurants, a hospital and other infrastructure facilities necessary for life. The situation changed after the Georgian Abkhaz War in 1993, from the broken city. Almost everyone who had the opportunity to leave, only the elderly and those who had nowhere to go remained. Every year there were fewer and fewer people, and the city froze in the past, giving its territories to nature. The architecture of a Karmara is unusual for the Caucasus and Soviet Russia. The houses were erected mainly by German prisoners of war during the Great Patriotic War of 1941 to 1945, which affected the appearance of the city. The settlement was exclusively mining, practically closed. Many in Abkhazia called him elite. After the collapse of the USSR, Hostilities began in Abkhazia. During the war, almost the entire industrial infrastructure was destroyed, 
many buildings were destroyed by shelling, and roads were damaged by bombs. Over time, dilapidated houses in the village were overgrown with subtropical vegetation. Akarmara turned into a ghost town, attracting only desperate stalkers for many years. Since 2019, excursion tours have been organized in Akarmara. Hutuvan. The Chinese ghost village is a site that will chill you on your skin. A village located on one of the islands of the Xingxi archipelago, at the mouth of the Great Yangtze River. Places conquered by man from nature, with the departure of people from there, quickly return to their original state. The fishing village of Hutuvan had about 2,000 inhabitants in the 1980s. They were fishermen with their families and workers in seafood processing shops. The village even had its own port from where fleets of fishing boats and cargo ships were sent to fish, delivering fish to the mainland. As is typical for people, any industry is growing rapidly, without thinking about the consequences, it has happened many times in history, and it happened this time too. In the 90s of the 20th century, the fish in these waters became less and less, the fishermen were left without a catch, and, consequently, without money. People began to leave the village, and when there were about 30 residents left, the local authorities cancelled the transport connection with the village. In Hutuvan, the last store stopped working, the first aid post was closed, and after that the most persistent residents left the village. Since the mid-90s, no one has lived here, except for birds, snakes and rodents. Ivy and wild grapes, gradually wrapped around the houses and the village, covered with greenery, is not easy to see from the sea and from the air. Friends write your comments, which of the places you saw impressed you more than the others, and we went to prepare a new video for you. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.